Hey, Colin. Hope everything's well with you and uh, you and the fam. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Um, hey, I'm hanging in there. Uh, my first question for you is, what do you think in your mind will constitute a good senior season for Skyler? Oh, man, I, I don't know if there's uh, – there's not one benchmark, I think, for that. I think it's – again, it's it's maximizing each and every day, each day that we get, you know, uh, to go on the practice field and in and, and each game that, you know, we play and, and uh, you know, maximizing every opportunity. And, and he has done that up to this point. And, and we're taking it one snap, one practice, one day at a time. And, and obviously there's so much new. Uh, you know, that, uh, you know, we don't know exactly, uh, you know, what, what it's going to look like day to day, but we're, we're improving and, and enjoying every step. And can you also tell me how close that competition is for the backup job behind Skyler and maybe help me out by breaking down what those guys are doing well right now? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, it, it's been a good competition through the fall. Um, again, a little bit up to this point, you know, we still got a few weeks before, you know, our, our game. So, uh, it's going to continue on. Um, you know, we got uh, – uh, there's been ups and downs uh, by each one of those guys, uh, you know, behind Skyler. I mean, Nick Ost has probably been uh, the most consistent just from his uh, – uh, the reps that he, he got last year and, and his maturity and age in the program. Um, you know, uh, Will Howard has is, is shown uh, great flashes and, and obviously just having nine practices under his belt – um, you know, has really done some impressive things is with uh, every small thing from huddle management, play calls to uh, being assignment sound, uh, and then being able to make plays, you know, with his arm from the pocket and, uh, and obviously has uh, good size and athleticism. Uh, Jaron Lewis has done, uh, you know, uh, done some good things. Again, uh, great arm talent, um, has been up and down consistency wise, but uh, you know, has, has shown some good things. And then, uh, you know, we got uh, uh, Max Marsh and, and, and Bart Harris that, you know, have also been working really hard. Um, you know, I think it's, it's hard if we had to play, um, you know, if we had to play tomorrow, you know, Nick would probably be two, Will would probably be, you know, three. And, and, but it's, it's, again, it's been up and down as, you know, as, as things have progressed. Adam. Colin, as the quarterback in your time, you're able to make a big impact on this K-State program. Now, as the quarterback's coach, what's it like uh, to own a quarterback like Skyler, who's already done so much, be able to make his own impact on the program? Well, I, it, it, first of all, it's a tremendous honor. I mean, every, every day uh, being able to walk into work and, and almost – uh, you know, reflect on, on all the amazing things that have happened here, you know, the, the last 10, almost 12 years now. And so uh, that, that hits me every day. And, and uh, being able to be a part of this program now in a different role is, uh, is, is unbelievable. Um, being, to work with, being able to work with Skyler, uh, first of all, just to, what an amazing individual and young man. Uh, his heart for people and, and his teammates and, and the community and this university and and just all the things that he does and, and has done on the side of uh, if it's big brothers or big sisters if it's going and and you know speaking at a school or or a retirement home or, or you name it uh, his heart for people and being involved with uh, maybe a young man that's going through a hard time has has been inspiring to watch and. And being able to use what God's given us to do in in, in this game of football and and here at K State for uh, for a bigger purpose is is uh, uh, couldn't couldn't have it any better. And what type of leadership qualities do you think it takes as a quarterback to lead a team to a Big Twelve championship? And how do you think Skyler has that? I think discipline and toughness. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's being able to do the little things the, the same way over and over and over again. Uh, truly, I think that's the difference between being good and great. Um, and toughness, you know, being able to uh, withstand uh, all the dynamics that you deal with as, as a student athlete and, and, as a, and as a Big 12 quarterback. And that's it's on the field on Saturday afternoon. It's it's Sunday afternoon, whether 
people are telling you how good you are, how, how bad you are. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, you know, recovering, uh, you know, with your body and, and mind to then, you know, go ahead and do it again and, and prepare the way you need to prepare that week. So uh, I think all those things are uh, probably what it, uh, what I would say it takes. And, and I know that uh, Skyler has that and it's, it's a process every day to, to, to grow and improve in those areas. It's, Hey, Coach, how are you doing? It's how are you doing, man? I'm great. I'm great. Uh, this has been such a strange time. I, you, you haven't been able to be with the players and as often as you would like, and they've gone through things that no college football player in modern times have gone through. How important has it been to have a senior quarterback with natural leadership instincts like, like Skyler to not just help the other quarterbacks, but the entire team? I mean, it's, it's big time. I mean, there's, uh, like you said, there's, uh, this whole thing has been a learning process for all of us um, and, and having to do a lot of things differently ever since, you know, we left on spring break in March. And, and that's uh, looking at that as a challenge and an opportunity to, uh, you know, to be a better leader, to communicate better as, as a teammate, as a coach, as a player. Uh, all, all those things are, are, have been at a premium and, and, and the way that, that he's done that has is, is been huge, you know, and knowing that, you know, the first snap we have, everything that we've done prep wise has been a little bit different. Everything for, you know, uh, since, you know, a couple of years ago or a year ago, even, and, and knowing that, you know, you've got a guy that's got, you know, double digit wins, let alone double digit starts, you know, as far as just, uh, you know, under centers is, is big time and, and, and something that, you know, hopefully shows in, in our play. Seren. Uh, Colin, you're changing out a lot of offensive linemen, right? You had, you had a veteran group. Um, I know for defensive coordinators, a quarterback that can run is right. That's the first thing you got to figure out is can he or can he? You've got one. Uh, with, with, with maybe breaking in some new linemen, does that become even more important? And is that something that, uh, you know, he's going to have to carry more of the load to try to maybe uh, give his offensive linemen a little bit more uh, time, maybe set up some of the angles on, on the blocks to be a little bit more effective? No, I, I think, first of all, I know uh, Skyler and, and all those guys, you know, and it's, it's been a competition up there, as I'm sure, you know, Coach Riley will talk about. And, but, I mean, all those guys, you know, Skyler and, and myself and, and all of us, you know, we, we have great confidence in. And, uh, you know, it's been fun to watch that group compete, um, you know, and, and improve. And, and uh, you know, we got a lot of young talent up there. You know, how it's all going to shake out, like I said, it's – uh, there's probably still, you know, a couple of question marks here and there, but everybody's competing hard. Noah Johnson's doing a great job, uh, you know, leading those guys and, and kind of providing that senior leadership. And then, and then, like you said, a lot of other young talent, as far as from a quarterback's perspective, obviously we're going to do whatever it takes to win, you know, and if we got to carry it more or less uh, by time, you know, uh, you know, whatever it ends up being, you know, we, we, we got to focus on our job first. So, uh, we know they're going to be just fine. Uh, last one, Ryan Black. Hey, Colin, how you doing today? Ryan, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Well, hey, um, I'm just curious, when it comes to settling for certain on like a depth chart and especially at number two, would you want it to be well before game week or would you be okay continuing to split reps there at practice going all the way into the opener? You know, I think it's uh, – uh, we'll kind of obviously see how everything plays out. Um, probably depends on where the situation is at that time. Uh, you know, if it's if it's clear cut and, and uh, you know, then obviously that second guy is going to get more reps. Um, if it's uh, – first of all, it's it's always a competition. I mean, there, there's always – everyone – every snap from the day they get here is, is going to be evaluated. Every meeting is being evaluated. Every interaction with their teammates. So – uh, that competition, regardless of where they're at, is is constantly going. And, and you know, I can tell the tell the story of years where we've been three, four deep at that you know position, and, and had that guy have to play. And, and you just gotta you gotta be ready, regardless of what that is. So, uh, you know, we'll manage uh, all of that, you know, just the best we can. And and but make sure, obviously, whoever is going to take that next snap is ready.